Moon Knight, Marvel's dive into the mystic and the mind. So you finished watching Moon Knight, and you're left scratching your head, wondering what in the world you just witnessed. Don't worry, you're not alone. Moon Knight follows the story of Stephen Grant, a kind-hearted, seemingly ordinary guy who works at a gift shop in a museum. Only, he starts realizing his life isn't what it seems. He's losing time, waking up in strange places, and well, let's just say he isn't only Stephen. He's also Mark Spector, and Mark has a bit more going on in his life, specifically a connection to an Egyptian moon god named Khonshu. Now here's where things get interesting. The show is essentially a journey through identity, mythology, and mental health. Moon Knight explores Mark's struggle with Dissociative Identity Disorder, DID, where he shares his body with another identity, Stephen. They have distinctly separate lives, memories, and skills, and neither is a fan of the other's decorating choices. Then there's the magic and myth part. Moon Knight isn't your typical Marvel superhero. His powers are tied to Egyptian gods, curses, and all the troubles that come with divine politics. It's a refreshing take compared to the usual science-based heroes in tights. Throughout the show, we're kept guessing about what's real and what's not, reflecting the inner turmoil of our protagonist. It's a series that demands attention to detail. Every episode peels back another layer of the complex, often mystical world Mark Stephen is tied to, complete with undead creatures, soul-eating monsters, and the occasional talking hippopotamus deity. In terms of themes, Moon Knight doesn't shy away from darker elements, exploring themes like vengeance, justice, redemption, and the true cost of carrying a mantle, or in this case, a cowl. All the while, it's doing this dance between ancient Egyptian lore and the harsh lights of modern society. Mark's journey is volatile, grappling with his condition, and trying to figure out who he is while balancing an intense responsibility as Khonshu's avatar. It's a powerful narrative that encapsulates the struggle of understanding oneself and reconciling with past traumas, all while fighting evil on a supernatural scale. Filmed in a way that sometimes feels more akin to a psychological thriller than a superhero blockbuster, Moon Knight stands apart, solidifying its place in the hearts of fans who appreciate when a show can blur the lines between genres. And if you live in a city like Portland, Oregon, where the rain often mirrors the introspective moodiness of Moon Knight, the show feels right at home. It's the kind of series that pairs well with a foggy evening, reflecting on one's own dualities or simply pondering the age-old mysteries of life over a cup of Stumptown coffee. In the end, it's about the complexity of our human experience, as tangled and unpredictable as it can be. Just like a stroll through the evergreen mystery of the Pacific Northwest, Moon Knight takes us through shadows, moments of light, and it leaves us with more questions than answers, which is exactly what a good story should do.